oftentimes I hear people talk about queen cells that are in their hive. I wanted to give a brief overview. I know this video is a little choppy. I'm holding the frame in one hand. Um, my big hive, Kenya, that one, survived last year and was split in May. Later, June 15th, the hive swarmed and I was able to capture that swarm, rehive it. But when I opened up Kenya, I noticed uh, frames such as these. Um, so I wanted to give a brief little description. When you see the bottoms chewed out like this, where there's a perfect hole, uh, here I am trying to point with the camera hand, um, that usually means the queen has emerged. Now the hive that I had put them in, let's see if, if this tracks. The hive I had put them in was this nuke. It was a, a triple nuke a few days ago, and trust me, it was loaded with bees. I, I put a bunch of frames like this in the triple nuke. Again, sorry for the dogs. Um, and put them in here. I checked this hive today. You should check your nukes a lot more frequently than I check mine. Um, you can see they're getting enough activity. Three or four bees just went in there. And around the hive, there's a crushed queen cell right down here, right up here. Um, but the queens hatched, and here's what I think happened. I'm gonna go back in the light here so you can see. Um, I think there's kind of a, a mass exodus of queens. A lot of these are opened um, kind of in sequence, uh, which means I think a lot of queens hatched all within a very short amount of time, and that my triple nuke that I that I'd split, I think I left too many queen cells, and a bunch of queens hatched all at once, and I think my triple nuke split swarmed multiple, multiple times. Um, right now there's only a handful of bees and I was actually disassembling it. it. You can look over there and see the boxes. I thought all the bees had left, but upon a quick inspection, I actually found a queen in the hive and I was able to find, again, a small handful of bees, a small lane pattern. So probably in the future, I'll add some nurse bees to that hive. But looks like a bunch of queens hatched. Right here is a frame that was likely killed by a queen. Chewed through the side of it. Um, where is it? Here's another one. Here's a better example. Pardon. Uh, right there you can see chewed through the side. Chewed through the side. Those queens were just kind of late to the show. Here three are the chewed. Four, five, six chewed out from the bottom. Here's one, chewed through the bottom, and chewed through the side. Your guess is as good as mine. But it looks like there are just a bunch of queens that hatched at the same time. Oh dear. And my little triple nuke swarmed multiple times. I'm not really discouraged by this. I'm actually encouraged because earlier this year I, I only had a couple of fives and now I'm up to seven. Uh, this is the swarm that uh, that hive cast off. I put a queen excluder here, kept my bees for quite a while. This is the one little nuke I had made from all the queen frames that are, were kind of awkward like this, so I'm glad they're out of a hive now. And I put them into the nuke. I actually found the queen in here, so I'm, I'm encouraged. This hive seems to be doing really well because it's a, a newer hive, still a little bit smaller. I put a, you know, half reducer in there. They're still really busy. My older hives are still producing a lot of bees and that was actually a package from earlier this year. They're doing really well. My pest control management is at work right back there. My other hives. 
but I just wanted to post a quick video. These are, well, I know a lot of people are going to say super seeder cells. No, these are swarm cells that were just kind of awkwardly placed because that's how the wax came out. But anyways, that's just kind of a quick overview of my inspection today. The mosquitoes are out and so am I.